Welcome to our video on how to develop a strong research question. Research is essential to any field of study, and a well-crafted research question is the foundation of any successful research project. However, crafting a strong research question can be a difficult task. That's why we've created this video to help you develop a strong research question. The first step in developing a strong research question is to identify your area of interest. For example, if you're interested in the impact of social media on mental health, this would be your area of interest. Once you've identified your area of interest, it's time to brainstorm possible questions. For example, some possible questions in the context of social media and mental health could be, does social media use contribute to increased anxiety and depression in teenagers? Or how does social media use affect the self-esteem of young adults? After brainstorming, it's time to narrow down your list of questions. Look at each question and ask yourself if it's feasible to answer within your project scope. For example, what is the entire history of social media and mental health is too broad? Well, how does Instagram use affect the mental health of young women in the UK is more specific and feasible to answer. Once you've narrowed down your list, it's time to choose a question that will guide your research. Your question should be specific, concise, and relevant to your area of interest. For example, how does social media use affect the self-esteem of young adults is a specific and relevant research question. Finally, it's time to write your research question. Make sure your question is clear and specific and that it can be answered within your project scope. For example, a clear and specific research question in the context of social media and mental health could be, how does excessive social media use affect the body image and self-esteem of teenage girls in the United Kingdom? Developing a strong research question is an important first step in any research project. By following these steps, you can create a question that will guide your research and help you make meaningful contributions to your field. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please don't forget to like and leave a comment below with your thoughts and feedback. Also, make sure to share this video with anyone who you think might find it useful. And lastly, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more helpful videos like this.